So yeah, so I failed then the, the psychological written test and I failed the ink blot test. Then I had to go do medical, like medical screening. I failed the medical test. They told me I was- I thought you had trouble in school. They told me I was obese. What? I'm not joking. <laughs> exactly. And obese? I w- and I just came out of the Marines. I was in just as good a shape I'm in now. <laughs> exactly. I'm not joking. He said you're obese. obese no. So let me break, break, break it all down for you. I never give it up. I never you know give I'm it. Take, take, taking that crown from you. I ain't worried about you. I ain't so let me break, break, break it all down for you. I never give it up. I never you know give it up. I'm take, take, taking that crown from you. I ain't worried about Welcome to a new episode of Breaking the Cycle Podcast. Yes. Did you already hit the applause Maybe. thing? Yes. Let me, get, let me get the headphones on here. I could tell already this is going to be a mistake with that applause thing. Anyway, what's today's episode going to be about, Tyson? In today's episode, we're going to be discussing what are the top three things kids want to be when they grow up. And for all the kids out there, do you know what your parents want to be when they grow up? And do you, do your parents do you want, know? Do you know what your parents want to be when they grow up? So oh, you're assuming that their parents no, aren't grown up yet. No, their parents when are they childed. were a kid. And do the parents know what their kids want to be when they grow up? Do you both know? Awesome. Every- oh, what here we that? go. I could tell this special, this effects thing. This, little, this is going to be a disaster. She's in charge of the, the soundboard over there with these, these special effects crap. I can tell this is a big mistake, and that thing might have to find its way into the garbage can after this episode, but we'll La- see. Last episode, we were at what? Six listeners? Seven six, listeners? Six followers on Instagram, and after this sound effects thing, is going to go down to like two or, or one. So, all right. So, did you guys even know what I wanted to be when I was a kid? What I, I think, wanted to be? Do you ever know all the things? I'm gonna no, I'm gonna go over I three. Know, I think I only know. I'm gonna go over three, and then even like two additional that I even thought about. After we're gonna go over that here in a second. So let's jump into it. So, mo- do you think do you think most kids know what their parents wanted to be when they grow up? No. Okay, but think, wait. Think. Before we start, Any, kids anybody want a starting joke? Oh I God! Was, I was just about to say that, man. Come oh on. God! What do you got? What do you call a well balanced horse? When you know you're the one talking. What do you call a well-balanced horse? I'm not going to... This isn't really a joke. It's kind of a riddle, so... All these are riddle. Everything we do is a riddle. So what do you call... A, what is it? Say it again. That's a well-balanced funny. horse. That is it's a riddle. What do you call a well-balanced horse? How long do I have to answer this? No, oh, yeah. Ten riddles seconds. are unlimited. I do not. Riddles are still 10 seconds. Everything oh. you do is a riddle. All these jokes are riddles. Oh, wait. I wish they had a timer. If they had, like, a timer. Like a, okay. Wait, what are we at? Six. When, time, when time's up. Five. Four. What do you call a well-balanced three, horse? Two. A well-balanced one. horse. Shit, man. <laughs> That's messed up. That shit is messed up. Did you just hit that, you little... Sh- <laughs> Did you hit that on me? <laughs> And now you're laughing at me. This is horrible. I knew I should never should have bought that stupid soundboard. We got you all on your cool little headphones, looking like your McDonald's employees, asking if they want a, 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 a little mic thing. If they want super fries with that or whatever. What are super fries? Whatever it's called, a diet. And then they order a diet coke. We're, we're going to just they be they talking a, into these mics Mac. this whole episode. They get What's a Big a Mac. Big Mac. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> they get a Big, a Mac, Big Mac and large fries with extra like cottage cheese sauce, and then they say What's cottage cheese. And then they sauce? say with an extra large. Diet Coke, like if they're as if they were on a diet and they're watching what they're eating, but everything else they eat is shit. But then a Diet Coke. Anyway, we're all McDonald's employees now. With the headphones. Diet Cokes are healthy. All right, so it's give me a hint for the joke. Life. I already failed the joke, so give me a hint for the joke. It's where horses live. Where horses live. Where do horses? live? What was live? the question again? Outside. What I do got you it. call a well balanced horse? Where do horses live? A stable horse stable. Wow, stable. That's a good one. Yeah. <laughs> Quit your shit. You only get point five. So I got point five out of one. I'll point take five it. Out of one. Okay. I'm keeping track. All right. So let's get into the, today's topic of what do kids want to be when they grow up. So let's. We're gonna go around the room. I'll. One of you will start, and then you'll both go, and then I'll give you one of the things let's I wanted to be, and then we'll go around. So we want to get to three things each that you wanted to be when you grow up, and we'll talk about it. I want to hear about because I don't even know all of yours. That's the purpose of this show. That's really the purpose of breaking the cycle. Show is. To have these type of deep, meaningful conversations 
to, to help get to know your kids better. So your kids can get to know you better. That's what this is all about. That's what breaking the cycle is really all about because a lot of these things people don't know about their own kids. If you do that again while I'm talking, I'm going to smash that little keyboard thing with a sledgehammer. You're going to make us lose our two subscribers that are left. All right, so who's going first? By now, it's probably one. Who's going first? You're going first. So what's the first, what's one of the top things you want to be when you grow up? Well, some of these things I don't want to be anymore, but when I was younger, I wanted to be them. So number one was a vet. I wanted to be a vet. You wanted to be a, a veteran? Vet? So you wanted to be someone that got out of the military and was like a veteran? No, 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 you no, wanted- veterinarian. Oh, that, oh veterinarian. Animal. I thought you meant a vet. Like a I veteran. thought you meant like a vet-like place. Like I thought you wanted to be the building. That's dumb. No. <laughs> that gets a... I don't even know. What that it. dumb ding one? <laughs> no, it should have been that. What's the ding one? <laughs> that. That's what you get. Is, wait, is that supposed to be like offending? It means like doing, like dumbass answer, dumbass saying, dumbass words. This oh. is a kid's show. Oh, right, right. All right, so you want to be a vet. What, what, but not just a vet, because now I'm remembering something you said. You want, what do you want? You want to do something with animals. What do you want to do with animals? I also wanted to have a pet hotel. A pet hotel. Would the vet be, you actually, that could be two businesses side by side. Imagine that. You have a vet and a pet hotel in the same building. Like that'd be a, that could be a good business. It's a lot kinda of work. Like, kind of like right next to Petco, there's Vetco. Is that actually a thing? Yes. It's called Vetco? It's, it, yeah, last time I went to Petco, it was there. It's like right next so to what, what would be the name of this this pet hotel? I still don't know yet. Midge, Midge's Mutts. I just made that up just now. <laughs> That's kind of a I, I, to the dog. <laughs> I came up with that pretty quick. That's pretty good. Midge's, 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 Midge's Mutts. Mutts coming to a town near you. That that was actually very good. All right, so vet hotel because you like animals and you like animals better than people, and we're not allowed to kill bugs and flies and spiders. Everything that's around the house has oh, to mommy live. Mommy kills spiders, but I like spiders unless Ooh. it's a black widow. Snitches end up in ditches. Oops. You're so done. All right, so Tyson, what's your first? What's the first thing you want to be when you grow up? As if you ever do grow up, <laughs> an entrepreneur. Wait, is that how you? Is it? Is uh, there's like different ways? It's like if you say entrepreneur. Fr- no, it's just the people that just have different accents. Entrepreneur. But preneur, neur. Preneur. It's a weird spelling because it's pre, pre neur, not per neur. It's P R E N E U R at the end. Sorry, right, what, what okay. entrepreneur? That's. I always spell it at the end with U E R, not E. It should be E U R. So entrepreneur could be a million different things. Yeah, I, I'm not really sure what it means or does but i know i know that you're an entrepreneur i know you don't know what it means or not does what it does do- kick to the doing again because that's another no, that's we're, what we're, we're gonna keep no. track of his doings that's two for you no he is a tyson's doings for that's the day the third one. That's he's the got third two one. doings for the day because he's not sure what an entrepreneur no i just gave him the third is words. or does you don't know what an entrepreneur is no i did what i think i do someone that owns a business they're wrong <laughs> Own their own business. Yes, it is. They, have, they run their own business. An entrepreneur is someone who runs their own business. That's not that. Oh, who's I thought, I thought there were multiple meetings. Someone who's their own boss. Yeah, obviously, you know, you know what an entrepreneur is acting I know. like. You get on camera and you go to Doingville is what you do. Like last what week. Remember Doingville? last week, Midge? Oh, last, yeah. week, Midge? last week was vacation. He was shooting himself in the foot while I was like. Midge was like the, the genius podium. all of a sudden out of nowhere and you were just all over the place. All right, so entrepreneur, what type of entrepreneur or you? What, what, tell us about it, more about it. I would. I would also want to start a coaching business. That's my second one. To be like, we're a, not on your second one. Oh, You're just talking well, about being an business. entrepreneur. You said business. Right. That would technically be a business. So right? you just want to be an entrepreneur to have a coaching no, business? No, no, no. Why no, no. do you want to be an entrepreneur? So I could have like self freedom, and so I could be in charge of myself, not under someone else's control. I would feel sorry. Well, either one of you, I'd feel sorry for anyone who had to be like your boss at a job. I'd feel oh, sorry for that person. Like if you were the new person there and they had to like show you, teach you how to do something at work. Like say you were going to work at McDonald's, you were the new person and they were your boss, your manager at McDonald's. I would feel older, sorry for that person. When I'm older, just for fun, I want to find a job that purposely has like that you need to show your high school diploma. So they're going to be like, what the frick is Eckert Freak Academy? It's going to be What did so you just awesome. say? What the what? What the frick? Oh, I thought you said something else. <laughs> it's a kid's show. 
Yeah, if you graduate, your high school diploma will say EFA, Eckert Freak Academy, will be on Thankfully, the... Thankfully, I could get my high school diploma right now if I wanted to, but you know. You, I don't know. No, if you only if a... your principal thinks you can get a high school diploma. If the director of the EFA... What's high school? Exactly. Technically, you're the co-director and mommy's the second co-director. Then who's the real co-director? I am the principal and the warden. I'm the warden. <laughs> the warden? Okay, we're not in prison. <laughs> no, you're the principal. Mommy's the superintendent. Technically, we have two gates. So this is technically... Pres- technically... There's okay, three. I didn't. I didn't deserve one. There's three. You just. You just turned into straight bonehead. We're gonna keep track. You're gonna have a record. So far, your record is three. I like it. I. Th- I, fi- I think I'm getting just to like you this guys stupid are sound. Really mean. I think I'm just starting to get to like the soundboard thing over here. So, all right. So, entrepreneur, you want some freedom. You don't want to work for anyone else, and that's your first one. All right. So for me, one of the first things I wanted to be, the main thing when I was a kid that I wanted to be, was a cop. A cop. Do you know why? So you because, can shoot people. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh my You're God. like that lady who said we were all drinking Red Bull and going to shoot people like the cops. <laughs> this is <laughs> disturbing. Now, this, this is just disturbing. This is some disturbing stuff here. So, that was good. yeah, that was but, but it was because, well, first, because they're the heroes. They got to wear a uniform and either that or a soldier, cops or soldier, just because of the uniform, the hero and guns. So it wasn't to cool. shoot people. I know, that's a you very broad discussion. It was to be the hero and to be able to use and train and, and have guns. So I wanted to be a cop, and you know that I was actually going to be going to be a cop. If you were a cop, you would literally arrest everyone. Do you know I was going to be a cop? When I came out of the Marines, I took the police test. It's a four-year process to take the test in Rockland County, where we lived in New York. Four years. They only hire four people. Years. They only hire people every four years. So you take a written test, then you have to do a physical test, then a, a medical test, then a psychological test. Someone didn't want me to be a cop because they did my background check where they go around and they talk to people. I'm not surprised. <laughs> four. <laughs> no. That's four. So I, I they did a background check. They went to like the police departments around the town and the police departments, they said, all we have to say about that guy is that we have nothing good to say about that guy. That's what they told them on my background check. But I still somehow passed the background check, I think. I don't know. Then the physical fitness test, I failed. I failed a physical fitness test. Wow. Exactly. I failed a physical fitness test on the sit-ups because I was doing the sit-ups. Sit-ups are stupid exercise anyway. They just fuck up your back and your neck. But I'm doing the sit-ups and they failed me because every rep I did, they said, nope, it's not good enough, not good enough, not good enough. And I ran out of time and I didn't, you only needed like 38, I think in like two minutes or something. Something ridiculous. It was easy. But they just kept saying mine were no good. They said either my elbows came in too close or my elbows touched too high on my knees. It was like a full sit-up. Your hands had to be interlocked behind your head and your elbows had to touch your knees. I hate sit-ups. Sit-ups are They're horrible. Up. They're horrible for you. They're not a good and exercise. I don't know why they even put them in fitness. They're the Marine like- Corps even stopped doing them. Marine Corps used to do sit-ups and they stopped doing them. We did end up doing crunches. Now I heard they even do a plank hold. But back, that was after I came out of the Marines. I did four years in the Marines and the police were still doing sit-ups. So at first they were like horrible for your neck and back. And I was like building some muscle then. So I wasn't great at them, but even the ones I was doing, they kept telling me, nope, doesn't count, doesn't count. And so they you didn't even get one. They, I don't, I don't know how many I got, whatever, but I failed the physical fitness test. So I had to redo it. I redid wow. it and I passed it. Yeah. But then after I passed that, so first they failed me that, then I failed the psychological evaluation. Basically they told me I was too I'm crazy. I'm not surprised. <laughs> Is five. that number five? That's five. What do you mean you're not surprised? That shit is messed up, man. So I failed. It's like, but how could I be in the Marines and they gave me a live live grenades to throw in the Marines, but I can't go be a cop? But anyway. Yeah. Wait, I'm not done. Oh, this is good. So I failed the physical fitness test. I pretty much failed the background check. And then I ended up passing both of them because I just kept fighting it Wait, and so fighting all it. all this took four years? Yes. I passed. First, well, it was a written one test. test per year. And I did really good on the written test. I got like a 90 on the written test. And I think I got five extra points for being in the Marines. And then I failed the background check and then, or didn't fail it, like had issues with it. Then I failed the physical fitness test, redid it and passed it. Then I failed the psychological test. It's like an eight hour, like eight hundreds and hundreds of questions, like dumb questions. Like when I walk into a room, I want to hurt people. And the next one, I want to hurt people when I walk into a room. So it's like a reverse of a question. It was just so stupid like that. Say that again? Exactly. It was like just dumb questions like that. When I walk into the room, I want to hurt people. It was like so dumb questions like that. 
walk into it. And then, no, that was two different questions that would come later on, like three hours later to see if you were like consistent. I don't know. So I failed that. Then they made me do that ink blot test. You know those ink blots you see in the movies where you look at the right. ink, they show an ink splatter on a card. They say, what do you see in this picture? You never saw that? Ink splatter? It's like a psychological evaluation Wait, that what? psychiatrists do to see if you're like crazy. They what just show you a splattered ink on a piece of paper and ask you what you see. And depending on what you see, they take all these little secretive notes and then they tell you if you're crazy or not. And I didn't see anything. I saw, I, saw, I saw freaking ink. It was so, so stupid. So I failed the written psychological test. I don't even get that. I know. Like it's, oh yeah, I've seen that before in cartoons. I've done <laughs> cartoons, it Cartoons, exactly. In Bugs freaking Bunny. I've done it before. Actually? <laughs> With your psychiatrist. You went to a psychiatrist? No, I was doing like. They probably a, have them online for fun. I was doing fun. a do-it-yourself diary of a wimpy kid book and it was in there. So yeah, so I failed then the, the psychological written test and I failed the ink blot test. Then. I had to go do medical, like medical screening. I failed the medical test. They told me I was- I thought you had trouble in school. They told me I was obese. What? I'm not joking. What? Exactly. And obese? I was, and I just came out of the Marines. I was in just as good a shape I'm in now. <laughs> exactly. I'm not joking. He said you're obese? Obese. That he used this fat fucking doctor- sat there and told me I was obese because they have height and weight standards to get to entry into the police department. So for my height, the weight I was at at the time, because I put on some muscle, I was like six feet, like 203 pounds or something was too high for the body mass index, something or other. And I was solid. I was just solid muscle. And I'm standing there with no shirt on, just in my underwear in front of this fat doctor. He had this broken leg probably because he couldn't support his belly when he walked. <laughs> He literally had crutches and a crutches and a broken leg. And he's sitting there telling me that I was over the height weight standards. And according to their standards, I was overweight, obese. And he's telling me, well, you know, we won't overwhelm you with too much at once, but you really should start on a fitness training program. And fitness training program, man. We should start lowering start with lowering your sodium intake. Uno and all reverse other. card. It was crazy. Freaking crazy. This is so I failed at I failed all these things. Trying to be a cop. Why did that guy get to tell you to do that even if he didn't how do it did himself? He, how did he get even, even what, get into the medical? That's what doctors do. Like, that's the problem. With the medical people, they're like overweight. So that's the problem. Like, do I, I, see how you, I hear you better than I hear myself in here for some reason. Do you hear me clear? Yeah, I hear you. I hear you, are you, very, you sound like you much more, you're both much more clear than me. Maybe it's just because you hear yourself. But yeah, so this is what happened in my first, that was what I wanted to be since I was a kid like a policeman and then I was actually going to do it when I came out of the Marines the dream job I wanted and all these things didn't go my way people just don't like you man yeah so I said and then and now like looking back it's like thank god I failed all those tests because it wouldn't have you, you two wouldn't even be alive if I didn't fail those tests that's that is messed up so think about it when you go through stuff you think it's so bad and so horrible like why are all these people against me you make all these excuses I failed all these tests they obviously didn't want me to be a cop but thank God I failed all those tests because it led me in a different direction into the fitness and training. And you two little weirdos would never have been here if I didn't fail those tests. If someone didn't screw me over. Because you wouldn't have met mommy at the. Exactly. The, at New York Sports Club. Exactly. Afterwards. So there's my first thing that I wanted to be when I was a kid was a cop. Also, I forgot what I was about to say. I wish that someone could create something. That you could see if something happened to you, which direction would that go? In? That'd be so cool if someone created that. There's a movie called The Butterfly Effect, I think. I think they show different, and there's a couple movies like, there's a movie called Scrooge, I think, or Mr. Destiny, or both, and that like some angels come back, and it's a Wonderful Life. Oh, the Christmas yeah. movie, the black and white one. It's a really good movie. Uh, the, we watched it. Yeah, the angel comes back and tells, and he, he's like, "I wish I never did this and this in my life." And so the angel, I wish I was never born. The angel comes back and shows him it, what life would be like if he never was born. And when his brother was like seven or eight years old, his brother fell through a pond and was drowning in ice water, and he it jumped into the ice water and he lost hearing in his ear or something like that, or his brother lost hearing in his ear, and he saved his brother's life. So if he never would have been born. He goes back to see what his life would have been like and his brother was dead because he was never born to save his brother. So it showed him everything along the way that would have happened if he was never born. Like all the things and he had to experience it all. He's like, holy shit, I guess my life wasn't that bad. I wish I was born. And he wanted to go back to it because he was seeing it all the way through. I remember he, he was like, where's my car? And then he went into the bar and then there was like a fight going on. Or he something. got in a fight because he was acting all crazy and weird because they wouldn't give him his car. They wouldn't tell him where his house was. The bar had like a different name. His job had a different name. He went to his house that he thought he lived in with his wife and his kids. And, and it was abandoned. 
it was abandoned. Then he saw his, he saw some, uh, yeah, it was, yeah. Crazy. It, was, it was a pretty good movie. I, at the beginning, I was like, I, I don't want to watch again. this. Uh, yeah. I don't want to watch this. It's a waste of my time. Because it was, it was a, black it was and white. Movie. That's it was a waste of my time, whatever. I, I said that at the beginning. <laughs> I do not deserve a ding no, I don't that. think that has a ding. That, that's just me giving my opinion. Usually your opinion is a ding, but that one I won't give a ding. Mm. All right, so that's my How many first How does one. it have? Five dings? What's your second? What's your second thing yeah, you five. want it to be? My second was an artist. I was terrible <laughs> at drawing, but... <laughs> An artist? We see all the fine pieces of art up here on the wall. Oh, yeah. Some of them are. So what does an artist so mean? Was, what does that look like as a job for an artist? That's your career. What does that look like as a job as an artist? Like you want to become you, Mozart? You think of things. <laughs> Mozart was an artist. G- give him one. He's at six. Mm-hmm. All right. So you want to be an artist? What does that look like as a job as an artist? So I thought that it was if you think of something that you think really means something to you that you could ju- like that I would just draw it like sometimes I'll just get a piece of paper and start drawing I didn't even know what I was drawing but then it ended up being something that I liked so so all right but how do you make money that how do you turn it to a career into a business you can so what I would have done is. I draw something, and if I like it, and if I think that the world should see it, and that it has some sort of meaning or some sort of lesson that can teach someone, I would keep the original copy, and I would I would just draw it like a lot of times and sell it to people, but keep the original copy so I have for myself too. Yeah, original copy would probably worth be worth the most. Eventually, you could sell that shit if people liked it. <laughs> <clears throat> But some people are. I think just, he's trying to say no one would like your things. No, I would never say that. No, but some people, even if they didn't like it, they're all into history and their historical artifacts. So then they would probably buy it, even if they didn't like it. But. Would it be all drawings or paintings or like sculptures or what would it be? Anything that came to mind, like how I how I pictured it. That's how I would make it. It doesn't need to be like drawing. It could I be never, any type of art. I never met anyone that said, I want to be an artist when I grow up. I never met anyone like that. No, I'm that. sure they exist. I'm sure there's people out there who want to be an artist. Of course. Listen, like you literally met someone the day they were born knowing that they wanted to be. Well, not the, the day. day they were born? How the who? hell did you figure that who? out? You had a conversation like, with them? Who? Wait, not the day they were born, but you literally have met somebody and you've been living with them for your whole entire life except for three years. Who? Me! Uh, add two to the... Wait, does he... That's definitely six. He has to have, no, he had... No, I don't... No, that was six. One of those didn't count. One of those didn't count. All right, so artist. All right, what's your second no, thing you want to be? remember he had five what's and your second thing? Mozart was an artist? That's all right. Whatever. He got to know. He got... He's at six. So no, what do you want to be? What was your next thing? Was to be like a coach slash life coach, like what you do, like one on one coaching, group coaching, all those like or like trainer or yeah. own a gym, like that own kind of coaching, yeah, like yeah. trainer, coach, and also all that different, all the different types of it. Yes, because that's what you're already starting to do now, right? You're starting to do you're training kids already right now. Yeah, and I'm I'm hopefully yeah. getting better every day. I mean every week or every day, every week. I don't even know anymore. It's every week, Tyson. There's one workout every single week. That's another one. So Seven. you're training to be a coach. Yeah. I'm getting better Pops, every day. Add every one. Seven. You are just shooting yourself in the foot. Yeah, that's so good. So that's all you have to say about that. Okay. No, so no, 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 no. It's. Oh, wait. So are we still on the topic about that? On the second thing? Oh, yes. Yeah, so it's, I it's am. It's just no, going to be no, a bunch no, no, of dings. No. 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 So I, I am starting Freak Fit. That's what it's called right now. I do a. On Zoom, I do a training session every week for multiple families, and they all come in, and we all do a hard workout together, and sometimes we invite people over to the house to work out with us. What are the majority of the people that come on there, the kids that come on there? Like, what do you mean by that? What like are they? Age? No, what are they? What kind? What are they? What are their lives like? What do they have in common? Oh, homeschooling. Most of them, are, most of them are homeschooled, homeschooled kids. So you're doing in live sessions training where you're teaching them coaching them are you just doing workouts and that's it or what else goes on during that time no i also send out a, an email and recording every week the recording is inside the email and i also send out 
on the workout are you just yes. doing a workout on that oh, video? Oh no, in, in the uh, during the workout, we also go over different lessons and topics that we learned that week every workout and look, we just break it up in between What are you doing? She's ready, she's ready to ding you again. We, we just she's break it up. Because I asked what goes on during the workout, and you're telling me about emails. Oh, I thought you meant during the week. All right, so you want to do training, coaching, teaching, all that good stuff. All right, so for me, in addition to the cop, the, the kind of either cop slash soldier, or you know what the other one was? Cowboy. I don't know what that meant, but I wanted to be a <laughs> cowboy. Yeah, exactly. I thought a cowboy was like a career. I guess it is. I know a professional cowboy, uh, Tyson Durfee Dur- from yeah. the- from the project is a, is a professional cowboy. So he's a former of cowboy. Of, I saw some of his videos on Instagram. It's like, like crazy he, what he like, does. It's like under 10 seconds. He runs out. The horse gets the lasso. Lasso's the cow. The, the cow flips it over and then ties, and ties its, foot. its feet together in like under 10 seconds. It's freaking crazy. But my idea of the cowboy was like the revolvers, the, the Henry action lever, repeating rifles and all that. And shooting the guns, chasing down the bad guys or chasing down whatever. And Did you ever imagine Back then it was cowboys horse? and Indians. You can't say it anymore. Like... <gasps> They would literally send, sell sets of toys of all the cowboy soldiers and all the Indian soldiers, and you'd like pretend like fake war with them. You have them somewhere, those little, little oh, figures. Yeah. There's like cowboys and Indians, but that was just a fun game to play, whatever. So that was the one. And, so and then, you wanted to go to war with Indians. I, I didn't say that. I just said I <laughs> wanted to be a cowboy. Let's not get lose our last what what remaining. Did you, what did you imagine that your horse would look like? What color was it? I why are you, no why idea. are you so interested? Did it have spots? Oh my god, I don't know. No, it was probably just brown. <laughs> just brown. Lame. Just what color to the horse? I don't know. That's all you're interested in the whole story. So, and then the other thing, uh, an odd one that I wanted to also be was a stunt man, like in the movies that just got to crazy stuntman. stunts, jump out of helicopters. When I was a kid, I used to stand on the top of the stairs of a full staircase and put a bunch of pillows at the bottom and stuffed animals and jump down the whole flight of stairs onto the pile of stuff. That's why you look so weird. And a few times I banged my head on the thing, like the overlapping thing. I cracked my head on it a few times where I'd fall. My, my knee one time, I landed weird. My knee went and hit my nose. My nose started gushing blood. Sometimes at the park, there was a hill that went down to the park of grass. My brother would take me by my ha- ha- wrists or sometimes on a special occasion by my ankles and spin me around and just launch me off the hill, down the hill of the park. And I'd land on the grass and go tumbling down. And to me, that was fun. fun. That sounds know. fun. It was painful, but it was freaking fun. Just flying through the <laughs> air. Really True story. Ask David about it. He was throwing me down this freaking hill. But a stunt man was the other thing I wanted to do and wanted to be. So that was that. So for me, it was- learn like, something new every day. For me, it was a cop, a cowboy, or a soldier, stunt man. And then as I got a little older, then I was thinking I wanted to be either a boxer or like a fitness trainer, personal trainer, coach. And that's what boxer? I ended up- Boxer? Like- Boxing. I thought I would get into boxing one day because I liked punching things or people and stuff. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, so so I think that and your other, I know you want to also, we're talking about a scientist at some times and, and that was that. I also wanted to be a gym owner. A gym owner. Same Why don't say that for a separate, I think that's going to be a separate episode. We'll talk yeah. about what it would look like if you two owned a business together or a gym together. I think that's something interesting. And this whole- Spoiler alert, it would probably be called Freak Physique, the upgraded version of Peak Physique. Yeah, good idea. I wonder where you got that from. And- then this episode also just gave me another idea of a whole another separate episode for us to do for a job that I want to ask you both about. I'm not going to tell you now, so don't even try and think of it, that if you had this job, what would you do in that position? And I'm, we're going to talk about that in a, in a future episode. Okay. Is it a good job? Nah. Depends how you look at it. But we're going to get ahead of your episode. I think that's good enough for today. The, the whole point was to get to see what do your kids want to be when they grow up? How do they think? Why do they want to be those things? What are they interested in? And letting them know what you wanted to do when you were a kid so they can get to know you. It's all about getting to know each other better, having these Deep, meaningful, fun conversations, doing all kinds of dings and breaking so the he freaking got seven today or eight? Breaking the cycle. Six, he got seven. seven. He got seven dings today. All right. Seven dings so for Tyson. Let's say that joke for the next time. We gotta roll. Send them home. All right. All I right. love it. You guys are so great. What was that? All right. If you haven't already, make sure you smash that, that subscribe, subscribe button, button, click, click the notifications, notifications bell. bell, bell, sorry, bell, comment, like, share, subscribe, share with your goats, your mother, your father, and anybody who wants to know. Yeah, we'll see you in the next episode. Exit, outro music, whatever. Whatever. <laughs>